All right, so welcome back. Um, what I want to discuss now is, again, we're going to, I'm talking about a balanced three-phase Y load, right? And we know that in order to have a balanced load, we have to meet two criteria. We need the same impedance in each phase, and we need the same power factor in each phase. So the load in particular I want to talk about right now, I'm going to talk about a three-phase capacitive load. And I'm going to say that each one of these capacitors has the same XC value, or the same capacitance, so the same XC, which gives me the same current through each one. And of course, because they're capacitors, they all have the same power factor, right? With capacitors, our power factor is going to equal zero. And we could say with that, our phase angle for a capacitor, oh, phase angle, is a 90 degree lead. Right, and again, that meaning our current is leading our voltage in each phase. So here they are. I'm going to connect them all up. One, two, three. So over here I have my Y source. Here I have my Y load. Connect them all up. And then there's a neutral conductor as well, which we'll talk about that at the end. But uh, so in this case, you know, maybe let's call this uh, phase A phase B, and phase C. And let's talk about the relationship. Now, when we're discussing relationships, it's important to start with talking about each phase individually. So I want to talk about the phase A capacitor. Well, the phase A capacitor, the current leads the phase A voltage by 90 degrees. So I jump over into my phasor diagram, which I've already plotted my phase currents and my phase voltages and my line voltages. So now I'm a capacitor and I'm in phase A. In phase A, the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees, which means my current is going to be up here. That would be I in phase A. Leading by 90 degrees. We would see the exact same relationship in phase B. The current in phase B leads the voltage in phase B by 90 degrees. So if here's my voltage in phase B, my current leads by 90, putting it right here. VI B. And then we see the exact same thing in phase C, where in phase C, my current through phase C leads the voltage by 90 degrees. So that's going to put it right here, I C. Now, you could do the math for this as well, and we're going to do that real quick. We know that volts in phase A are at zero degrees. So VAN, and I should have put this on here, is at zero degrees. That means that IA is at 90 degrees. Right? We see VBN, we know that's at 240 degrees, which would mean that IB, 90 degree lead, would be at 330 degrees. Our phase C voltage is always at 120, or in this case is at 120, which a 90 degree lead would put the current at 200 and 10 degrees. So that's what we would see with those relationships uh, between voltage and current in the phase. And then of course, our line voltages, we know our line voltage leads our phase voltage by 30 degrees. So we can see VAB leading VAN by 30, CA leads CN by 30, and BC leads BN by 30 degrees. Uh, so I hope that helps clear up the phase relationship in a balanced purely capacitive circuit. Um, check out my other videos or other parts of videos for talking about a balanced motor load or a lagging load. Uh, and check out the description below for lots of other videos on different Y connect circuits, circumstances, relationships, and calculations. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.